So this is my second design concept for the electric skateboard battery housing. It can hold 40 18650 lithium ion cells and that means 10 in series and 4 in parallel. So the white thing you're seeing is supposed to be a flexibly printed water seal um, that prevents the water from creeping inside of the case but um, no idea if it works out just the concept right and then for the batteries I actually bought a spot welding machine um, this is still gonna be really tricky but it should work I'm just gonna try it out and let you guys know and see uh, if it does work out but yeah that's why I printed a battery holder so that I can actually put all the batteries inside and it's gonna help me spot weld them together so my plan here is to solder nickel strips onto the opposing batteries so that I can then bend the battery and have a really wide um, lithium pack instead of a really thick one. So now it's time to print out the actual case. Um, I made it a bit thicker than the old one. I also used PETG this time, not PLA, so that it can hold up um, more to the stress and abuse of the electric skateboard. The shape is not the best when it comes to the supports. Um, I could have made it a bit better. I wanted it to be rather stylish though and um, I was going for a sanding job. Um, yeah, if I made the top a bit more flat I could have um, saved some ugly supports. But um, yeah, as I said I wanted to go for a cool shape that um, required some treatment by sending paper but yeah so at that point I realized I forgot to put in the hole for the charging port um, not the worst thing I can always drill a hole but yeah that was kind of stupid afterwards I also printed out my logo that I wanted to put onto the housing and it snapped in perfect couldn't be better what I did was I used a space of 0.1 millimeters between the object and the cutout in my housing so the last thing that's missing now is only the flexible seal test um, to see if that fits or actually works out as a solution first thing I noticed was it was really hard to fit on there and quite thin on the edges so I'm pretty sure it would be better to make it thicker towards the inside so that it's a bigger surface area of flexible material and also it would be cool to have a groove that it kind of snaps in so it's easier to place and doesn't really look as ugly um, on the outside so if there would be some kind of um, small space or cutout in the inside you wouldn't see it from the outside and it would be super easy to place so those two things I should do better next time at this point I noticed a huge issue so I shaped the housing so that it fits to the board uh, with a small curve but it turns out that I didn't really exactly match the curve and even though I got it mostly right but just I'm slightly off it still isn't like water sealed there are small cracks on the side that um, leave a gap and it's just not a good good of a solution so if I would do it again I would build a flat longboard deck and design a flat battery housing so this is a small trade-off and it's a bummer for me because I really wanted to shape the board and give it a small curve but it just doesn't seem doable unfortunately to design the shape of this um, curve in any software. Honestly though, all in all, I'm super happy with the design. Um, the 4mm width that I chose was great. Uh, it seems super robust and it's gonna take a beating. I'll just have to print it again being flat and with a new flexible seal design and also maybe this time add the charging port hole and then it should be alright and good to go. Next up will be to just wait for my batteries to arrive so that I can then spot weld them and I'm super excited, slightly scared because this is my first time spot welding but hey, what can go wrong right? 